how to speed flip consistently in 2021. Now, truthfully, I thought I wouldn't have to be making this video today, but with the mass amounts of you guys who still want to learn the speed flip and can't seem to crack it with the content out there right now, I decided it's on me. And so today I'm super excited to deliver the ultimate speed flip tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be breaking down the mechanic step by step to help you learn exactly how to speed flip consistently with common mistakes and examples of how to actually execute the speed flip at every single spawn. So stick around because if you want to learn the speed flip, this is the video for you. Also, this past weekend, we hosted the biggest launch tournament ever in my coaching program history. It was crazy. On day one, we had 37 teams register. Only problem is I'm now scared that season five will be too crowded for me to keep up with. So we've never had to do this before, but for season five, we are setting a hard cap at the amount of players we bring in. At the time I'm making this, we're at 40% capacity, and my alumni team averages about eight interviews a day. If you're interested in getting involved before my prices go up at the end of this season, go down in the description below and DM me the keyword speed on Discord for more info. Seriously, no strings attached. You can DM me the word speed on Discord for more info. All right, so contrary to popular belief, a speed flip is simply a diagonal flip with extra steps. And let me show you how. To do a speed flip, you're going to need three key parts. One, you need to know how to flip cancel. Two, you need to know how to diagonal flip. And three, you need to know how to air roll. That's literally it. There are no other pieces. First thing you need in order to effectively speed flip is know how to flip cancel. What is a flip cancel? Super simple. All it means is stopping the animation of your flip midway through by pulling opposite the direction you initiate the flip after you start it. So a front flip cancel is simply flipping forward then pulling down on your joystick. Practice that for a few minutes, and once you can do it, you've got piece one of the puzzle. The next piece you need to bring on in order to execute a speed flip is the diagonal component of the flip cancel. So instead of front flip canceling right now, before you pull down and cancel, you're going to flip slightly off center, either up and to the left or up and to the right. Let's use up and to the left for sake of example. If you look at my controller overlay here, you'll see that I'm front flipping about 30 degrees off center from true north. And here is the first common mistake when it comes to speed flipping is messing up this diagonal flip. If you pull too far to the left, you're going to simply do a barrel roll. And if you pull too far vertically, your car is gonna do more of a reverse half flip and nose dive into the ground rather than speed flipping. So for starters, make sure your diagonal flip is 30 degrees from true north and you are pulling down on the joystick. Second most common mistake also comes in step two of learning the speed flip, and that is pulling down on your flip cancel the wrong way. Now, for some reason, a lot of people teach the speed flip and say you need to pull perfectly opposite the way you speed flip. But I found that when I do that, I actually can't speed flip consistently. So listen up, here's how you actually speed flip. Instead of pushing your joystick up and to the left and then down to the right to flip cancel, flip up and to the left, 30 degrees, like we talked about, but then down and a little bit to the left instead of the right. Essentially, you wanna flip cancel a slight bit towards the side that you initially flip. If your car is ever scraping the ground or your speed flip isn't looking smooth, it's probably because you're not executing this correctly. So remember, up and to the left, down and to the left. Up and to the right, down and to the right. And it's just slightly, slightly off center on both, but that is going to be the key to where you need to push your joystick for the speed flip. And then the last common mistake, the third most common error I see is not holding down their joystick the full duration. Now, I think the reason this happens is because when you're learning the speed flip, a lot of people are just used to, you know, pushing in one direction, flipping, and then letting go of the joystick. But in order to get a full smooth rotation on your speed flip, you need to cancel in that direction for the full duration 
of the speed flip. And what some people I've seen do on YouTube is teach this drag motion where you sort of drag the joystick towards the side you want to speed flip. And honestly, that's kind of fluff. That's not necessary. You can hold your joystick in the same direction and speed flip just fine. But if dragging the joystick helps you get that timing down to make sure you're holding the joystick long enough, then by all means, go for it. This should get rid of the common mistake where your car is scraping the ground or it looks like it's like it's a sort of twitch flip rather than a speed flip. The last component from there, the final piece, once you have the diagonal flip and the flip cancel, is simply going to be a quick tenth of a second tap of your air roll at the very end. Whichever direction you're speed flipping, you're simply going to want to hold the directional air roll for that direction. So hold air roll left if you're speed flipping to the left, hold air roll right if you're speed flipping to the right for just a tenth of the second, and that's gonna allow your car to perfectly land on the ground. You can hold power slide if need be, if you wanna make your landing more smooth, if you're landing slightly off center, but that is all you need to do to be able to speed flip. Also, as a quick bonus, since this is going to be the end-all be-all tutorial, I guess I ought to go over how to actually speed flip on kickoff. So here is what it looks like from each kickoff spawn. Starting with diagonal, if you spawn on a diagonal spawn, you're going to do a quick adjustment upfield before you speed flip in the opposite direction. So for example, if you spawn back left, you're going to do a quick adjustment up and to the left and then speed flip forward and to the right to land right behind the ball before barrel rolling to the left to try to hook the ball to the left. If you spawn on the right, it's the exact same thing. You're gonna do a quick adjustment upfield, then speed flip forward and to the left before barrel rolling to the right to try to hook the ball to the right. If you spawn on the slightly off center kickoffs, there are actually two ways to do the speed flip from here, but I'll recommend the easier one. You can do this little shimmy motion where you go, for example, if you spawn back right, you go left, right, left, and then diagonal speed flip to the left. Or if you're back left, you go right, left, right on your speed flip, but that's a little more complicated. So what I just suggest you do is if you're on the slightly off center kickoffs, simply turn infield. You're going to turn towards the center and then once again, speed flip the opposite direction. So if you spawn slightly off center to the left, you're going to turn infield to the right and speed flip to the left towards the ball. And the same thing goes on the other side, just mirror it. And then lastly, if you spawn straight up in the center, all you're going to want to do then is drive forward until you get just before that first boost pad, turn either left or right, speed flip the opposite direction to land just a few paces in front of the ball and barrel roll whichever way to try to push through the center of it. There you go. That is literally everything you could ask about the speed flip in as fast as I could possibly do it. I really do hope that helps. Feel free to rewind if I talk too fast and you want more info. But as always, my name's Luke. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace guys.